Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my October update for the Beauty A to Z project pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab and was started by Jessica and Amanda. Of course, they're all linked down below. The Pantastic Ladies is linked down there. There's also a playlist. And also in the description box, I do have all of my previous updates. I have the playlist there if you want to go back and look at that and see everything I've worked on since the beginning of the project because a lot has changed. So the basic gist of this project is take every letter of the alphabet and then choose a product that corresponds with each of those letters. So I started this project off with 26 items. I have told you guys before, but just in case you guys are new to my channel, I did roll in or start off this project with a lot of smaller sample size products, not realizing or not thinking about the fact that this was a year long project. That's because this is my first year long project pan. So I have finished a lot of items um, out of the original 26. I only have one item left. So two times now I have rolled in five new products. I've just randomized five different letters that I've already finished and just put those items in here. This is not a rolling project pan. I did start January 1st. It does end on December 31st. So we are coming up to the end. There's three months left, but I did turn it into a rolling project pan simply because I did finish so many things so quickly. I just wasn't thinking. Like I said, it's my first year project panning and I've learned. And so I'm ad uh, adapting all my other projects accordingly. So let me go ahead and get into this project. I will start with the item that has been in here since the beginning, and that is my Benefit Hula Bronzer for the letter B. I will put a picture up here on the screen of what it looked like last time. And then over this past month, I have used this an additional 28 times, and this is what it is looking like now. So hopefully you guys can see a lot of difference. I think I was about up to this halfway mark last month. And I told you guys I didn't think I'd finish it. And of course, so many of you guys did say you, that you believed in me, you thought I could do this. And now that I see how much progress I've made over this past month, I really think I can finish it this uh, year as well. I don't know why I was doubting myself, but it just, I just uh, wasn't quite sure. But I am really pleased with the progress on this. With the additional 28 uses, I have used this bronzer 222 times so far this year, and it is still going. So. This is a great value for money. This is the little four ounce size. I did get this as my birthday gift from, I think it was from Ulta last year. So it's a birthday gift. I just am enjoying using it. Um, hopefully I will have that one done by the end of the year. I really think I can do it. Now let's get into the items that I have rolled in. I do have some empties, but I'm just gonna go in the order that they are on my sheet. The first thing for the letter A is this Drunk Elephant A Passioni Retinol Cream. Um, I have used this one an additional four times and you guys can see my little marks here. There is so much product in here that I don't think I'm going to have this done by the end of the year. I really don't like this. It is a chore using this. Um, I will, I am going to start stepping up my usage on this because I have been trying to use up some exfoliators and things like that and I didn't want to use too many different products on my face. So I will be laying off some of that and using this. I do want to work on it. I do want it just completely gone out of my collection because I don't like it. But four more uses out of this. I've used this a total of 16 times only and it's been in for one, two, three, at least three months, which is so not like me to avoid a product. But this one I have been avoiding. So I will get going on that. Next one is for the letter J. And for that, I rolled in this Jeffree Star Velour Lips uh, Stick in the shade Diva. It is this pink right here. And I was able to use this one an additional 15 times this past month. I'd had 13 previous uses and then I used it 15 more times this month. So 28 total times and I am calling this one empty. Hopefully you guys can see lots of windows in there. I did take the stopper out of here and it is so clumpy and thick in there and just dried up. There's no way I can get any more out of there. It's um, I'm just calling this one empty. So this one is moving out of this project. The next item is a letter K. I have been using this one for months. Um, this is probably with the first time I rolled items in, this one came on in. This is the Kipris Antioxidant Dew. And let's see, you guys can see my uh, marks up here. I was to here last time. 
and now I am down to here. I have used this one an additional 32 times. And based on this usage right here, I really think that I can have this one finished by the end of October. So, so far I have used this one 142 times. So this is great value for money. It is an expensive product. I believe this is about $90. I got it in my box of charm. There's no way I'd pay $90 for a serum. Um, but I am happy to be getting a lot of use out of this and I'm hoping that I just have one more month of this and then it will be gone. For the letter F, I was using my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is in pink grapefruit. And as of the last update, I mean, it was up to here. And I'd only used this one 11 times as of the last update. I've used it an additional 25 times. And as you guys can see, that is completely empty. I did use this one as an all over body lotion. I do love this uh, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Um, they're just not cruelty free anymore and so I won't repurchase this, but I loved using this one. So uh, 36 total uses on that one. The next letter is M and for that I have this Maybelline uh, Instant Age Rewind Eraser. This is the dark uh, concealer <laughs> I was to here last time. And now I am all the way down here. And I did use this one a total of 28 times and I just have this littlest bit here. I admit I have gone through this really fast. Oh, really quickly, I did, you guys, several of you mentioned just pulling the, um, what is it called? The little sponge on the top of this off, which I did and I am so much happier with it now. I just, it just literally lifted off and now I twist it up and when the product comes out, I just dab it right onto my sponge and put it where I want it makes me so much happier than dealing with that sponge tip applicator. But the reason why I'm going through this so fast is because I have recently finished up a foundation and I was looking through my drawer of foundations and I have a ton of samples in there. I don't know, I got some bag of foundation samples. I don't even remember where I got them from. But one of them is a Clinique foundation that's for exercising. It's like a workout foundation. And I thought I'd used it once or twice. Well, when I held it up to the light, I realized it's a little 10 mil bottle, so it's a smaller one. But I realized it was three quarters of the way empty. So I'm trying to finish that one up, but it is the wrong shade for me. It is my summer shade. And so since I'm home, I'm in quarantine, I'm not going anywhere, I'm still wearing it, even though I am at my lightest I have been. So it is way too dark for me. I am wearing it today, but through the magic of lots of light in front of me um, and this concealer right here, I'm able to pull it off simply because I use this to lighten up the whole like interior of my face, under my eyes, my nose, my chin, my forehead. So I just lighten up this entire area. And so I've been using a lot of this because my foundation is too dark. Um, it is a pure liquid foundation. So I do have a foundation mixer. I do have white that I could mix in. However, this foundation is pure liquid. I literally have to pour it across my forehead and on my cheeks like you see the Instagrammers do because there's no way I can put it on the back of my hand or anything and it's just so runny and liquidy. Uh, I put it on my forehead and I pounce the sponge on there a couple times and the sponge just sucks it in there. Um, so, you can, and, and when I drop it on the sponge, you can just see it like absorb into the sponge. So, I've been trying to work the best I can with what I have. So, that's why this one is going so fast, simply because of my foundation. So, I have used this, I don't remember if I told you guys, so seven uses the first time, 28 now, so 35 uses on this. This one will probably be gone within the week. So that's that one. And then the final product I have been working on is for the letter X. This is the Buxom Lip Cream in Dolly. And as you guys can hopefully see, this one is completely empty. I did take the stopper out and got everything out of there. This is a very pale pink, um, lip gloss, but of course the, the wand is stained because I have been using this with a lot of dark pink lipsticks and so of course it did stain the wand a little bit, but it was okay. I still used it up. I had one use on this last month and I did use it a total of 45 times and this one is gone and I got as much as I could out of here. I do love the Buxom lip glosses, um, but I'm finding, I my only complaint is that you can use it 
and every time you use it you can see it just go down the container. Um, I mean I was at 20 uses and I was already down to the letter like X right here. And I realize it's not just Buxom that does this, I think that's just lip glosses in general. However, the Buxoms are so expensive but I love this formula. So whether I will buy this again in the future, I'm not sure, maybe if I got a really good deal or they were on sale, because I do enjoy this formula. The tingling is very mild. It doesn't bother me at all. And so I do love this formula. So with those empties out of here, that leaves me with one, two, three, Four. only four products to work on. I told you guys if I got back down below five, I would roll in five new items. So I am going to do that today. I'm going to um, randomize five letters. I will pick out some items. However, this is going to be the last time this year that I'm going to do that because this project does wrap up at the end of December. So I have three months to add in and work on five more items. So let me pull up. I've got my Tiny Decisions app and I have put in here all the letters that I uh, are eligible to be worked on. I just took out the four. So let's see what letters I get. Hopefully you guys can see that. I hope it's in focus. Okay, so the first letter is G. The next one. X. Next one. P. Two more. D. And the final letter. L. Okay, so I have G, X, P, D, and L. Let me go look through my stash and see what items I can come up with for those letters. All right, I do have the five items that I have chosen. That literally took me at least 20 minutes to do. <laughs> so let me go ahead and show you what those are. For the letter G, I'm gonna be rolling in this Garnier Fruit Tea Style Curl Shape Defining Spray Gel. I have marked my progress right here. And I wanna see if I can't finish this before the end of the year. I do um, enjoy using this. It isn't cruelty free, however. This is great at kind of holding my curls. And the other thing it does is it helps get rid of the frizz. Whenever I put my hair up kind of like this, I do have little curls all around my face and it just, you know how curly hair is, it just sticks out everywhere. And so I use this to kind of help hold those in place. For the letter X, I'm gonna be rolling in another Buxom Lip Gloss in Dolly, the one that I just finished. I do have a little one of this, so it is the exact same color, so uh, my goal for this is to finish this one as well. Um, it may take me a little bit to get through this one because I am working on at least three other lip glosses at the same time, so once uh, one or two of those is finished, then I will start working on Dolly. For the letter P, I'm gonna be working on this Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. It is a smaller one, and I do believe the other one I have of this is what I rolled in at the beginning of the year for the letter P. So as you guys can see, I wasn't thinking when I rolled in something this tiny that was supposed to last me for the year. So this one is new. So I again, the goal is to finish everything I'm rolling in, the goal is to finish everything. So for the letter D, I'm gonna do this Dove Extra Hold Hairspray. Um, I did mark where I am right here. Hairspray is not something that I typically like to wear. However, when I cleaned out underneath my bathroom sink because I had um, a bathroom cleaner in there that the whole bottle cracked and it leaked and just got everything wet underneath there. I had to pull everything out from underneath my bathroom sink. And I found this in there along with a couple other products that I had completely forgotten about that weren't in my inventory. So this one is a couple years old. I do just want to use this up, get it out of my collection. And the final one for the letter L, I am going to be rolling in another um, concealer since I am almost done with this one. And it is the exact same style, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind uh, Dark Circle Eraser. But this one, the L comes in, it's a shade Light Pale. So. That's where I got the letter L from. So as soon as this one is finished, I'll just roll on over to this one and keep working on it. As you guys can see, it is brand new, never been used. 
but um, hopefully I will have that one done soon. So now I am working on nine items. So my goal is to have these all finished by the end of December and uh, I really think I can do it. So that is everything that I have for you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by.